would you know I mean we always felt coming in the game that it would be a 50-50 game if we played up to our potential and our work rate was where it should be I thought we started off a little bit nervous but after that once we settled and we started tackling and working and you know Tyrone are a very very good team who worked the ball forward in through, through the hands and numbers and I think our backs were excellent and that was, was the winning point for the game I had to concur with you the defence were absolutely brilliant tonight and as the second half progressed Tyrone started taking long shots and a lot of them went wayward out over the end line and wide and their heads seemed to drop but this was a panel effort once again and every man showed their fitness their skill and their passion and really got dug in right to the end yeah well I wouldn't agree that Tyrone dropped their heads in fairness about tanking at the very end I think that we had to work exceptionally hard to keep them out and that was the winning of the game you know in fairness to Tyrone they kept coming at it and coming at it you know I mean? it, was, it was a three point game I think in the end so when you win a game only by three points let it be announced the final it's not a big win it's amazing that the score line is the same as last year, 110 to 10 points, but nobody's worrying about what the score line is as long as it's on the right side for Cavan. You're facing into a showdown with Roscommon, I think that's in Pierce Park in Longford. Yeah, well, Roscommon won't be easy on, you know what I mean, Pierce Park, again, Cavan will bring a large contingent to it. Uh, look, we played Roscommon early on in the Hastings Cup, but it was a one-point game, I think we won by a point. Both teams were probably experimental on the, on the day. Uh, I think they've been in three or four of the last provincial finals in Connacht as well, winning a couple of them, so they're going to be tough opposition. What does it mean personally for you, uh, you as the manager, Terry? It must be a proud moment to walk away here with a second Ulster title in a row for Cavan football. Yeah, well, it's, it's, it's the last part of your sentence that really uh, resonates with me, that's for Cavan football, you know what I mean? I've been involved in football all my life, I think since 1970 I've missed one year I have been involved with somebody or something you know what I mean and in the end of the day when you get into management it's for the legacy you can leave behind you for the people who are playing it's for the players out there and it's for probably for the supporters in Cavan that, that, that you do it at this stage and I'm delighted that we won it for Cavan supporters It was a magical moment when the final whistle went at the end and the thousands of Cavan supporters came onto the field here it shows you Cavan supporters are the best in Ireland if they're given something to cheer about well, that's true. You know, I mean, in fairness, I mean, they've followed this team in big numbers in three matches so far. I suppose they appreciate the honesty and effort of the team, and that's you know what the team gives back to them. Um, when uh, you look out as a spectator and you see honesty and you see, you know, a lot of good skill, never mind anything else, being performed on the pitch on behalf of Cavan wearing a good Cavan blue jersey, you know, and that's what they appreciate. And I think that's something the 21's got us given that. Terry Highland, congratulations and the best of luck against Roscommon. Thanks, John.